If you make it to the Creston Farmers Market this summer, you might run into Stefan Gollan. This young man has turned his passion for travel and spices into a business. When I was traveling, I'd like learn how to cook with the spice and I'd bring it back with me. And then my East Indian friend, he said, Steve, he said, uh, why, why don't you try and sell these to the Canadian people? Maybe you make money. And, you know, because I was short on money and I wanted to travel more. Originally selling his exotic creations at markets in Alberta, the newly dubbed Spice Guy of Creston has become an instant hit with the locals. They trust me because I tell them my stories and I tell them how I came upon the spice and they realize that it's good quality spice because it comes from most of the places that I've been. Although his mother Mary Gollan has always enjoyed cooking, her son's passion has now sparked a new interest for her. I was never a big one on the spice thing, but gradually I'm getting more and more into it just because of him. Stefan makes his blends at the family house, so if Mary wants to try something new, she has all the spice she needs at her fingertips. I just go down into the spice room and open the closet up and say, hey, I'm going to try this tonight. Golan has always encouraged her son to travel and see the world, and now it's paying off for both of them. You couldn't ask for a better notebook than traveling the world. And then he comes home and he cooks for me, which is wonderful. He tries out all these different spices on us, and I think it's fabulous. The Spice Guy sources all of his ingredients from many countries, including Iran, Morocco and Thailand. But in places where English is not spoken, just how does he find what he's looking for? I'd say the number one thing is you've got to learn a little bit of the lingo. So when you go into a market, you can actually ask people what stuff is. Because, uh, you know, lots of times they won't speak your language. So if you learn a bit of the lingo, and then you can understand what's in the market and the people can tell you what to do with it. Through his travels, Stefan feels lucky to have gained a valuable insight into using spices, something most people just don't have. It's, it's a great knowledge to have, right? Because then you start to understand more about cooking and different flavors what goes inside the cooking rather than just buying the spice from the market and that's it, right? You understand every bit different part of the spice and then you can actually blend it into your own type of cooking too. So with a thriving business giving Golan the money he needs to keep traveling, he's already planning his next trip. And, uh, maybe I'll get down to Southeast Asia again and we'll see maybe three months or if I can extend it even longer. James Farnan, Shaw TV, Creston.